Getting a COVID test is a challenge just about anywhere in Oregon. These cars are lined up in the Bend area, where last week waits of three hours or more were common. It's so bad, medical leaders are asking others to join in the testing. We've also asked for community partners to potentially open up their doors and, and increase access to testing throughout. In Medford, more lines, as people do whatever it takes to find out if they are carrying the COVID virus. We've also seen lines in the Portland area. And if you can find a home test at a store, consider yourself lucky. Because of that, many are likely looking forward to the government sending free home test kits to those who ask. Late last week, the White House put out this fact sheet explaining that it would allow people to order up to four in-home tests per address for free. 500 million tests will be available now, another 500 million later. It also posted the website where you can place your order, covidtest.gov, starting Wednesday, January 19th. By the way, it did not clarify when on the 19th the site will start accepting orders. Is it a second after midnight, East Coast time? We just don't know. And then, lower in the release, there's a section about ensuring equity and reaching hardest-hit communities, which of course makes sense. The fact sheet said it's designed to help those who are most vulnerable, which is an admirable goal. And the government says one way they'll do that is by offering a toll-free telephone number where you can phone in your order for the free home test. There's just one problem. There's no phone number listed here. Perhaps I missed it. So I did a quick internet search Monday around noon. There was nothing obvious online. So then I checked the big papers that were talking about the test, the Philadelphia Inquirer. They did not have it, nor did the LA Times. Perhaps the government will post the phone number soon on the internet to help those who cannot use the internet to order that home test. The Biden administration also put new rules in place that took effect over the weekend, requiring your private insurance company to pay for in-home COVID tests that you buy on your own. Insurance has to pay for up to eight at-home tests per person per month starting January 15th. So a family of four could have 32 tests paid for each month. A check of Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oregon, one of the largest health insurance companies in the state, shows they do have a page explaining the reimbursement that they will pay for up to eight tests a month. But how you get reimbursed, well, that's still to come. Moda Health has a full page devoted to this as well and says it will reimburse up to $12 per test if you bought the test on January 15th or later. And by the way, Moda wants you to know shipping costs do not apply to your reimbursement. That's on you. But it does have a simple reimbursement form. All right, so Pat Doris joining us live now. And Pat, the hope really is to make this easier on the public, but what about insurance companies? Are they ready for all of this, the reimbursement claims that are sure to follow here? Well, it depends. You know, when I was looking around today, it looks to me like Moda Health is. They're pretty well dialed in on their webpage. But others like Kaiser, no, I would say that they're not, at least on based on what I saw today. Remember, if you're going to be one of these people who are filing for reimbursement, make sure to keep your receipt because you have to send a copy of that and also fill out all the questions that they want. And hopefully it's an easy process. If it's a nightmare, please send me an email. We'd love to know that as well. So what about the free tests from the government with Omicron happening now? Will they even get here in time? Uh, no. <laughs> not if not if in time is as the wave is going up or cresting. The government says if you're able to get in and place your order on Wednesday and we'll be watching and hoping the website doesn't crash, but who knows. Uh, if you're able to place that order, it'll be seven till 12 days until it arrives. So that's kind of right at the height of when we're expecting things to be worst here. I mean, if nothing else, it'll be good for you to have at home. And if you do get sick next week, maybe it will tell you when you're not infectious anymore on the backside. All right. Good to know. It's just nothing's been easy these past two years, right? <laughs> no. All right. Thanks so <laughs> no. much, Pat.